The students are in town. Bit weird that, bit weird that I'm filming and I'll stop. Welcome back to LSJ TV. Today's video is going to be a good one. We're going to be taking you through a push day, taking you through a vlog, all that kind of stuff. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for tuning in. Drop the video a like if you're excited. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. We're going to be smashing about 17 birds with one stone here. USB content, my content. It's going to be a good day. A stressful one. But let's do this. Come on then. Let's see something. One. Come on. Get it. Come on. See. Up, up, up. Stop doing all that shit. You know yourself. Drop it now. Whoa. So for me personally, um, in September, I have so much to do, it's crazy. Like, I cannot even fathom the amount of stuff that I have to do. I am balancing more than I ever have done before in my life, and that is saying something, right? I've had my fair share of heavy, heavy workload, but September is the Arnold Expo. September is media business stuff. September is my protein impact week. September is too many things for me to actually list. I'd be here all day, in a good way. It's a great thing, it's a great position to be in. I'm happy, grateful, and thankful to be busy, but I've never, I've never really been in this position before to the point where I don't know genuinely how I'm gonna get it all done. I'm hoping I've not bitten off a bit more than I can chew. If I have, then it'll be a lesson learned. Either way, let's get into in September, let's do this. <laughs> My first time at this gym, absolutely loving it, but I recognise you. You came over to me first, to be fair, I wasn't fanboying, so I was happy. To be fair, I was quite shocked, right? Because I, I was just like, I knew that you guys were coming in on a day pass, right? So you actually come down with your, with your yeah. flatmate. Yeah, you, yeah, your, flatmate, right, yeah. So, brand new student here in Birmingham, right? And I was, I sensed the opportunity to, <laughs> to film some student content for the UFB page, right? So I was like, you're right, guys, oh, how's it going? How, uh, how are you feeling first time yes, at UFB? First time, it's very good gym, as I said. Mm -hmm. Atmosphere's amazing, absolutely loving it, and get even more one than I already am. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal, mate. You won't have exactly. trouble with that here. You won't have trouble with that. Love but stay tuned, see him on the UFB page. Over, you'll see this on Sunday. Next couple of days. Next couple of UFB days. UFB page, check Hold it out. Hold that, next couple of days.
doke it. God, I'm knackered. I don't know who this presenter is, but. Bom, 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 bom. Might get a KFC. <laughs> It's a really good feeling, that is. So Josh, that you saw in a video earlier, right? And Ella, his friend who, uh, well, they both moved like yesterday or today and they came straight to the gym, right? They couldn't wait to get to UFB, basically because of my videos, right? That's a really fucking cool feeling. Helping someone find a place that they can now call home. Like they're both gonna get memberships and they're both gonna be there. They absolutely loved it. That was it was just, it's just really, really cool. Like, it's just something in social media. I just fucking love it, right? You get that nowhere else in the world. With nothing, nothing else has that power. To click a button and like, influence, I hate that word, right? But that's technically what it, technically what it is, right? Influence someone to like, you know, come to a completely different place, come to a completely new city and find somewhere on day one that they like to call home. Home from home, UFB, that's what it is from me, for me. I've now done that for them, and they can have a great fucking first year. Enjoy Fresh as you two. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you. I didn't actually get Ella on the channel, but they will both be on the UFB page, so go and check that out if you have not already. Um, Ella had to leave by the time I realized that I was filming my own video as well as the UFB stuff. So anyway, great day, great session. Enjoy Freshers, guys. And not just them two, everybody else in Birmingham. You will not find a better gym. You will not find a better place than Ultimate Fitness Birmingham to come and call home. If you feel a little bit lost in a new city, if you feel lost in a new environment, come to UFB. I promise you, we will make you very, very welcome. So, I'm gonna treat myself to a KFC tonight, but uh, I'm actually going to a birthday thing for Kyle. You guys know Kyle, you haven't seen him for a while. I know just the thing. I don't know if they'll have it or not. Hmm, that's a good start. Two minutes in and out, that was no good. I was gonna get them a bottle of AU because I just know he'll like it. But that was the deadest selection I've seen for a long time in that Tesco. It's normally really good. Is your love tonight? Woo! Okay, more petrol. Let's go. <laughs> to a uh, little Tesco, believe it or not, because I think they're more likely to actually have some. Because um, who goes to little Tesco for a bottle of AU, you know? But I know that they sell it. So, oh! Also, the fact that we are now, like, the fact that I drove up to Tesco to buy some, some petrol, right? And I was happy at the price of 163 a litre. Happy with that. Mate! What does it come to when that, like, you look at that and you think, whoa, that's good. Oh, let me fill up. What is that? It was like 120, like, five minutes ago. Like, what the hell? Well, I got in Blue Raz. I hope he likes it. He's already got some. I don't know which flavors or anything like that. But anyway, Carl's been a really good mate, especially as of late. So, um, this is the least that I could do, you know? Yeah, hopefully it lets me have a bit. <laughs> hey, we love a bit of Peggy Goo. <laughs> no one's gonna understand that reference. No one. We'll be doing a minute, okay? Yeah, no worries. Please fucking Oh, yeah, you're right. Can I get a mighty bucket for one, please? I'm watching. 
a bottle of water with that, please. Can I ask? No, that's it, thanks. No, that's the Cheers. <laughs> I don't know what is going on in there, but there is some KFC drama. Why don't I just make this whole video like me dancing and singing in the car? Anyone new here? I'm normal, I promise. I... <laughs> I promise. Life is too short to sit around miserable, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Sing in the car. Spend time with friends. Do stuff that makes you happy. And you can't go far wrong. Ah! Anybody says there is a better KFC meal. Oh, they got me a drumstick. Oh, yeah. Anyone says. There's a better KFC now. Sorry mate, but you're wrong. However, I have been slightly shortchanged, I think, because look at the size of that fillet. That, what, like what, what, like what? Just put that up there as a torch and I got a message. The message can wait. <laughs> So, a lot of you will be thinking, well, you'll see the title, right? And I haven't actually mentioned it. We're now like 12 minutes into the video, but to be honest, that was kind of unintentional. I didn't intend, I'm on my knees and it's really uncomfortable. I'm going to crouch. How's, how's that? Okay. I'll tell you what, let me bring you there. That's better. I got another message. What is going on? That message is going to also wait. So a lot of you will have seen the title and wonder how I am actually consistently losing weight even though I'm having KFCs. I put one on my story a couple of days ago, I, I think, and I had one tonight. I've had a, a couple of KFCs and I guarantee you I'll wake up tomorrow at 178 pounds or lower, right? As you guys know, the goal is to be 175 by the time the Arnold's come around, which is in, what, like three weeks? It's like three pounds in three weeks. It's perfectly doable, especially with my kind of willingness to, to commit to it, if you like. It's much easier for me to stick to and adhere to a diet now than it was, let's say, a month ago. So what it essentially comes down to, I'm gonna have to move, oh, there we go. What it essentially comes down to is calories in. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Can I sit down? All right, I'm gonna put you there instead. That's, that's, that's a better shot anyway. How are we doing? Right, so at the end of the day, it comes down to calories in versus calories out, right? I, eat 200, 200, two and a half thousand calories, there or thereabouts. If I do eat around about two and a half thousand calories, I stay where I'm at. So for the past few weeks, the past maybe like three, four weeks, maybe a bit more, like it's just kind of, I'm very on and off when it comes to this kind of thing. If you follow me, you know that I don't take it too seriously. However, we're ready to put our foot on the gas ever so slightly, but anyway. Calories in versus calories out. If I eat less than what my body needs, I'm going to lose weight. It doesn't matter if that comes entirely from KFC, entirely from McDonald's. Is that nutritionally and well, anything, is that optimal? No. But at the end of the day, if you want to lose weight and you eat in a deficit, that deficit could be 5,000 calories of if, if you're Eddie Hall, maybe. Who's in a deficit on 5,000 calories? My point is you could eat whatever you want. I could have two and a half thousand calories of crisps, right? Would that be optimal for recovery or training or anything or just not feeling like crap? No, but I could if I wanted to just stay where I was, right? If I wanted to gain, I would obviously eat more, but I'm looking to lose a little bit of body fat right now, so I'm eating less, right? Whether that 1,400 calories from the Mighty Bucket for one that I just had or the 200 calories of ketchup I've undoubtedly just consumed as well, that does not matter because I'm still underneath where I am for the rest of the day. I've had my oats, I've had a couple of snacks, some clear whey, and that's my lot. I'm good for the day. I can go to, the be I can go to bed quite quite happily, quite comfortably, you know? So calories in versus calories out, it doesn't matter where they come from. At the end of the day, if you can get it from chicken breast and rice and veg, do it. But I fancied a KFC today, so I kind of factored it in with my, with my diet, you know? And that's that. So I'll update you all on the physique and I'll update you all on the body weight. In the next video, I'm gonna do a full kind of physique update. Um, I'm much more happy with kind of how we're actually looking right now, so I feel comfortable enough to do that. Um, I feel like it's definitely come off my face and love handles a little bit. Other areas, not so much. Legs don't really tend to get fat anyway. It tends to be stored from here to here on me. So, stay tuned for all those videos coming very, very soon. But I hope you have enjoyed this one. It was very relaxed, it was very laid back, and quite a lot of fun for me to actually film, so, 
if you did enjoy this style of content, let me know in the comments because this, this kind of feedback really does help. I used to ask for it a lot more and I used to also get it a lot more because I asked for it. I stopped asking for it, so I don't get it as much anymore. It's good to know what you guys enjoy and what you guys want from me. So if you have enjoyed this one, let me know by leaving a like, a comment down below on what your favorite part of the video was. Subscribe if you are new, stick around. Thank you all so much for watching. Together we will grow and I will see you all beautiful people in the next one. Woo!